Hey, welcome. I'd like to talk to you, whoever is listening today, about gratitude. When I started my apprenticeship, my kind of final apprenticeship years, <clears throat> um, I had been on the path for a while and um, I'd gone on a lot of pilgrimages. I'd had a lot of intense experiences, but <clears throat> was still very much seeking. And the thing that my teacher right off the bat talked most about was gratitude. And uh, I never fully understood, well, not never, I didn't at the time understand why necessarily. Um, you know, seven years later, um, I think back on it and I, I feel very sure that gratitude is one of the most important things we can internalize in our own lives. It to me feels like the virtue that we are all and hopefully going to in order to access all other virtues. You know, it to me feels like where everything should start. And I guess I say that um, just from personal experience, because once I started thinking about and internalizing gratitude as a personal practice, not just a, not just a, a friendly concept or a concept that was tertiary to my existence, but a concept that was central to my existence. That each thing I experienced was an opportunity to connect with and join with gratitude. Um, as I have done more ritual work, as I've done more mystical work, as I've done more meditative work, as I have more experiential understanding of gratitude, <clears throat> Not from the, you know, again, not from the surface, but from the embodied practice aspect of gratitude. But even the, on the surface level, we gain access to the moment in a way which really isn't present without deep gratitude. I mean, it can be present without deep gratitude. Um, but I find gratitude to be that doorway that you can step into so profoundly um, in order to access whatever moment you are attempting to be in relationship to. Um, the way that we think about gratitude for me is a, a heart-based practice. There's some conceptualization that's useful around gratitude, but I think we all have the emotional content present, and if we don't have the emotional content present to, to, to pull a memory <clears throat> that you are truly grateful for, that upon, you know, kind of, uh, you know, review of the moment, you find yourself deeply grateful for that experience, for that moment. Um, that to me is, you know, where, where they start, where, where the, the, the feelings start to make themselves apparent about what gratitude brings into our lives. Um, not gratitude in a, even in a targeted way. For me, a lot of the focus for personal meditation, a lot of the value has come from gratitude for really simple, basic things as my primary orientation first. So <clears throat> I'm grateful for my breath. 
If you aren't grateful for your breath right now, hold your breath for too long. You will be. If you're hungry, it's very easy to understand why one would be grateful for food. If one is thirsty, it would be very easy to understand why someone would be grateful for water. If one is tired, it is easy to understand why one would be grateful for sleep. Gratitude, feeling grateful for something usually invites its opposite. It invites an awareness of lack. I am grateful because I know maybe one day I might want this again. For those of us who have had experience in life, we can understand that. We can embrace that life <clears throat> is not always going to be perfectly kind to us. So gratitude becomes all the more important. Because what we find we have access to from gratitude is a practiced gratitude can pull a positive out of even the most negative moments. When we have lost the most sometimes is when we stand to gain the most from the moment. And a gratitude is oftentimes for me a true opportunity into relationship with what is occurring now. Um, it won't always be positive. And so <clears throat> that's where the solidarity, you know, comes in. That's where all of our other virtues about relationship come in around the ideas of when one of us is suffering. But to be grateful again for the simple, the food in my belly, the water hydrating my cells, the air filling my lungs, reminds us that everything else is so much. What a gift. What a gift. Keeping life based on the simple gratitudes can feel like we're cutting ourselves off from abundance in some aspects of ourselves. But <clears throat> for me, the richness of a thing, the richness of a moment, the richness of an experience is not necessarily so much about how much it is, but how present I can be with it now. I would never enforce my monasticism on another, for sure. So, which is why I say just be grateful for everything. Whatever it is that you have, you'd be grateful for it. Be grateful for it because from that gratitude you will build the neural pathways in a way which will support yourself. They build opportunity for union with the moment, union with others, union with self, union with divine, union with primal, you know. <clears throat> in each thing, there is an exchange. Something's put down, something's picked up. Something's put down, something's picked up. And in the interchange, hopefully, for me at least, we find ample opportunities for gratitude. And from that self-love that we build from gratitude, from gratitude for our body, gratitude for our minds, gratitude for our hearts, gratitude for our whole being, we start to love ourselves more. And this gratitude starts to pour off of us in a different way. 
you know, and it, it becomes more easily a, a humble expression of honoring another, a humble expression of service for another, a humble expression of that gratitude for life. The idea is we fill ourselves up with gratitude so much that it overflows in a way which allows us to be graceful, to give grace, and to receive back grace, and to be in relationship through that graceful, grateful relationship and connection. And so, yeah, I feel like that's what I want to say a little bit about gratitude today. It's a central virtue and principle and guiding light to my life. Um, it allows me to make it through a lot of situations which might otherwise feel somewhat smothering, somewhat painful, somewhat alienating from myself, from safety or comfort or joy or whatever, you know. What can I be grateful for in this moment? What can I? Like, is there something? Is there something I can be grateful for in this moment? And maybe even, can I be grateful for what this might be one day, right? as opposed to what this is right now? Can I be grateful in the long term, rather than only needing to be grateful in the short term? And those are the, you know, for me, where we start accessing the, the bigger components of gratitude. Um, so yeah. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for hanging with me. I'd love to know your um, your thoughts on gratitude. Has gratitude brought something into your life? Has gratitude enriched your life? Or is it something that you struggle with or something that has brought struggle into your life in a certain way? Um, yeah, I'm deeply interested in discussing gratitude. I think it's a, a really important concept for all of us to embrace more in our lives. So 